Good morning. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the joy of being alive today. We want to thank you for the gift of another week. Your word tells us it is of your mercies that we're not consumed, for your compassions never fail. Your love is new every morning and great is your faithfulness. Thank you for today. Thank you for this week. Thank you for the outgone weeks of this year. And thank you because you have something new in mind for us this week. We receive with thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall be a week of exploits in the Holy Ghost, a week of divine opportunities, a week of experiencing the supernatural moves of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let's go into the Word before we begin to pray this morning. I want to read from um, um, Genesis, Genesis chapter 41. I'll read from verse 14 to 18. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. Don't forget, at this point in time in the life of Joseph, he was uh, in prison. You know, his brother sold him to some Midianites and they sold him to uh, Potiphar. So he was in Potiphar's house. Mrs. Potiphar implicated him and uh, he ended up in jail. And at this point in time, he was in prison in the palace of the captain of the guard of, of, of Pharaoh. Now, Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself, be prepared, be prepared. He was brought hastily. He wasn't expecting that, you know, and they shaved him. He shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Your appearance matters. Take note of that. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. Be known for the skills you have. Be known for the talents and the abilities you have, because God is preparing you for something. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your pathways. Notice that Joseph did not put the focus on himself. He put the focus of Pharaoh on God. 17. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of a river, and behold, there came up out of a river seven kind, fat-fleshed and well-favored, and they fed in the middle, and so on, and so on, and so on. He told him the story of how that, you know, he saw uh, seven fat cows that were doing very well, eating up, and they were uh, ate up by seven gaunt cows. You know, and he told him the, 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 the dream that he had. Let's look at um, verse 34. The import or the essence of it all was that there will be seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. And the seven years of famine will wipe away the memory of the seven years of abundance that they will never imagine that there was ever an abundance in that land. But God sent Pharaoh, uh, Joseph on an assignment to Egypt at that point in time. This week, you'll be on assignment for Jehovah God to the glory of the Lord. Amen. So verse 34, let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers. After Joseph had interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh unto him, Joseph began to speak by the inspiration of the Lord. What did he say? Let him appoint officers over the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenteous years. 20% taxation, 35. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this there is none so discreet and wise as thou art you know and from there joseph entered the employment of pharaoh joseph became second in command to pharaoh and things began to pan out as god had imagined not only that joseph now became an answer to the food crisis of that generation because people were coming from other nations to buy food to buy grain in egypt because there was a man that God has sent ahead of them. Can we begin to pray? Can we give thanks unto the Lord for his manifold wisdom? Lord, I want to give you thanks for your manifold wisdom for the journey of this week. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord because he's the master strategist? He knows times, he knows seasons. He determines times, he determines seasons. Father, we thank you because you're the master strategist. You determine times, you determine seasons. You work out your will and you work out your own good pleasure as you have in mind. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Can you appreciate 
appreciate the Lord because He's the one ordering the steps of your life and is the one scheduling your seasons. Lord, thank you because you're the one ordering the steps of my life. Thank you because you're the one scheduling my seasons. Thank you because you have a perfect plan in mind for me, for this week, for all that is mine this week. And I give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord even for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God who is in us, to guide us, to instruct us, to direct us, to lead us. Thank you, Lord, because your word says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And thank you because your Holy Spirit is in me to instruct me, to direct me, to inspire me, to guide me, to lead me, and to teach me and to show me things I do not know. Blessed be your name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we receive grace to maximize our opportunities even this week? Lord, I receive grace to maximize the opportunities you'll be bringing my way this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, ask the Lord for sensitivity to the Holy Ghost to see your opportunities, to see opportunities even in the face of rejections, even in the face of disappointments, that you will see opportunities. Lord, I, I receive grace to see opportunities, to see beyond disappointments, to see beyond the, the shortcomings and, and, and the negativities of, of, of the environment, of the situation around me. I receive grace to see opportunities, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because under dark clouds, there are silver linings like they say. So I receive grace to see beyond the obvious, to see into the opportunities you are bringing my way this week in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom to ride upon the waves of these opportunities. I receive wisdom to ride upon the waves of the opportunities you are bringing my way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Trust the Lord that this week you will be remembered for good in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive grace to be remembered for good even this week in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you will cause men to remember me for good even this week in the name of Jesus. That one recommendation will lead to another recommendation will lead to another recommendation even for you this week. Lord, this week, one recommendation will lead to another recommendation and another recommendation even for me this week in the name of Jesus. As the Lord to put you on the center stage this week for his glory. Lord, I ask you to put me on the center stage this week for your glory. Put me on the center stage for your glory this week in the name of Jesus. Finally, Joseph stood before Pharaoh on a particular day. Trust the Lord that you will stand before kings. The Bible says that the man who, who knows his business, he who is diligent in his business, he will stand before kings and not before ordinary men. Lord, I receive grace to stand before kings kings to stand and profess solutions and to give answers to the problems of humanity to give answers to problems and challenges facing organizations and the environment and the society and the community where i am in the name of jesus pray that the lord will cause you to be an answer and not a problem wherever you are this week lord cause me to be a solution and not a problem wherever i am this week joseph was a solution to the problems of the dreams of pharaoh on that day i will be an answer i'll be a solution in the name of Jesus. The wisdom of God began to speak even through Joseph as he stood before Pharaoh and he proffered solutions. Receive grace for the wisdom of God to find expression in you and through you this week. I receive grace for your wisdom, O God, to find expression in me and through me this week in the name of Jesus. Grace for your wisdom to proffer answers. Grace for discernment and discretion to express themselves through me. Lord, this week in the name of Jesus Christ, tell the Lord you will not be confused it, this week you will not be confounded this week you will know what to do there shall be clarity in your thoughts I receive clarity of thinking I receive inspired thinking inspired reasoning inspired logic by the spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit is the one who is the spirit uh, of wisdom of knowledge of counsel of judgment and understanding can you trust the Lord and leverage on the wisdom of the Holy Spirit knowledge understanding discernment judgment and the fear of the Lord. I receive grace, O oh God, to leverage on the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the discernment, the judgment that your spirit provides in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. And Joseph began to counsel uh, uh, Pharaoh and he said, let Pharaoh now look for a man who will be able to administer the resources 
of the seven years of abundance. The Bible says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find out the knowledge of which inventions. Receive grace to, to operate in the power of a knowledge of which inventions this week. I receive grace to operate in the power of a knowledge of which inventions this week in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, thank you for the spirit of distinction and the spirit of excellence and the spirit of might and power are upon me this week. Everyone watching out there, this week you stand out in the place of honor and distinction, preferring answers to the problems of men, to the glory and honor of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Wow, we are out of time. See you next Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.